very very soon everything called a naira note everything called a dollar note everything called a world note everything called a note money you will see very soon in the nearest future anything paper money will be completely eradicated on the face of the earth go and write it down and put the date down because it is going to happen on the face of the earth and no country of the world will have need for anything paper money nothing like paper money Oh, count the money, 20 million pounds, one naira, two naira, uh, 5,000 note. This is going to be a thing of the past very soon. But as we are busy talking about the eradication of note, and I see in the realm of the spirit, the Lord took me straight away to Nigeria, where the now begin to now design what's called 10,000 naira note and 5,000 naira note. Who is in support of this? And why is this agenda coming up? Why are they printing note, uh, 1,000 naira, 5,000 naira note? What are they printing 10,000 naira notes for? What is this note going to be? Is Nigeria now going to now make 5,000 naira notes that they can now use what's called a bundle of 5,000 naira notes when you are holding a bundle, you are holding 500,000. And you hold 10,000 naira notes, you are holding a bundle, you are holding what's called 1 million naira. Or they are going to do it 10,000 10, naira notes and 5,000 naira notes. What is the meaning of this? What is this all about? And why am I seeing this in the realm of the spirit as a major prophet of God that God has given the grace to now prophesy upon the face of the earth? Because the Lord will surely do nothing. The earth will surely see nothing. Except first of all, the major prophet of God has prophesied what I saw in the realm of the spirit. Because this was called a new naira note that will bring about 5,000 naira note and 10,000 naira note. It may not be anywhere, anywhere, any place, but the Holy Spirit have read the mind of the people who are in charge and have seen the agenda, have seen the memo, have seen a document that are prepared. Let us print 5,000 on a note and print 10,000 on a note and this very memo and this very, 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 very document already prepared and passed in there and waiting for what's called executive and what's called executive order to sign in it and move it from there to the house and the house now move it there and it completely pass into law and the printing of 5,000 on a note and 10,000 naira note to be the next agenda. Prakatoshila as go for. You know one thing about uh, God and the things of the spirit, they are too spiritual in such a way that no man can know it all. It is what God has opened for humanity that the humanity will know. And so when I talk about seeing beyond the realm of human, the time to see beyond the realm of human, to spiritually see beyond the human, the human realm, you must know that we are talking about the realm of the Holy Spirit. We are talking about the spiritual realm. We are talking about where God and God alone dwell it. We are talking about the supernatural. We are talking about uh, beyond the human imagination, beyond the human calculation, beyond the human mind, beyond the human brain, beyond the human ability. That is called uh, the spiritual realm where God and God alone dwell it. At this point of my ministrations, every child of God that is connected all over the world must know that this is the mouthpiece of Jehovah. We have gotten to a level that children of God, who are children of God indeed, we glorify God and appreciate God for the life of nature, prophet God, and begin to exalt the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and begin to say, thank you Jesus, because of your goodness, because of your mercy, because of what you have given to the world, especially in this part of the world. Because today I just saw a video and I began to wonder. I said, these are the things God has shown me some a year back and some years before now. And when I'm prophesying these things, the people are like, oh, this is not possible. How will it happen? When I was telling you, I said, Africa people is about to wake up from their slumber. They're about to wake up. And before you know it, I said, Africa people will begin to take their destiny into their hands. People were like, oh, how is it going to be possible? The crop or this generation you are seeing that is coming up right now, the generation you are seeing that is coming up right now, I am pitting countries like Nigeria where leaders must be corrupt before they can become one position or the other. I am pitting them because the set of the youth that are coming up now and the kind of awareness that is coming up now, 
a lot of youth are going to take their destiny into their hands and also they are going to stand out for what they believe because civilization is going to hit every part of the world and it shall come to pass that this part of the world are going to be among the people that civilization are going to profit all and when it come to profit all they will take their destiny into their hands and any man who has stolen their money who have taken anything and say oh because of politics or because of position is going to vomit whatever they have taken because what I saw in the realm of the spirit is not too far from what I'm seeing. The people now taking their destiny into their hands and stepping out and holding the people who are leading them accountable to now begin to now vomit whatever they've been taken abroad or whatever taken anywhere. When you look at the forensic, uh, the, uh, 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 forensic uh, 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 investigation going in the leadership of this day, you see what's happening. They begin to discover a lot of things that people have done, a lot of money that have been misused in one way or the other. But they don't have the willpower and the ability to prosecute to the end and be able to recover those money. But the people who are coming after them, the people will come later, the people who are about to take their, their destiny into their hands are going to recover all. They are going to recover all. They are going to recover all. If you have opportunity as a leader right now, begin to bring out the money you have stolen. Begin to return it back. And begin to accept yourself in what is in the future. Begin to now vomit whatever you have taken and bring it back to the people. And give the people back their money. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is something that is very, very visual. And something that is very, 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 very supernatural. Because the time has come that the cry of the people are penetrating heaven to recover everything that been taken from the people and those of you who are people who love to make sure that they see that good things excel they see that good things excel congratulations to you because great reward is coming to you you people who love to stand for the truth great reward is coming to you because it is time that time is coming very soon that the people and their hard labor will be paid if you have been thinking oh i want to change my mind i don't want to be good anymore i don't want to be good accountable or be i don't want to be accountable anymore i don't want to do do be the saint anymore please don't change your mind or remain the saint you are remain accountable as you are remain very honest as you are keep your integrity because very soon all of these things will pay it will pay in such a way that you'll be wondering oh i thought i've been forgotten i thought nobody remembered me i thought all my labor is in vain because the evil will not rule africa anymore it is time for god to step in and help his people and bring us out of Mary Clay and make a way where there is no way. I also want to use this medium to say to everybody who has one thing or the other, whether it is gift or talent or whatever it is that you have, start to work on whatever you have. Because time is come that the people with whatever they have is going to be heard all over the world. And I see in the realm of the spirit a time will come that even the very the very Facebook and the YouTube and all of these things, every country will begin to create their own and have their own. We must always try our best to now continue to look at the future and what the future holds for us. Because if you are in opportunity to be in a position today, don't take that position for granted. And don't look at the position as a position to now begin to witch heart or as a position to now begin to perpetuate one evil or the other or position to now amass wealth. Look at that position as a position to serve. Look at that position as a position to be a blessing to humanity because time is come that all of these things are going to be fully rewarded and fully investigated and fully looked into. These are the things that are spiritual designed, they are designed spiritually and the people who are the people of God must always look forward to what God is prepared to make happen for humanity. God is God and God is not a man. God can never leave his standard and come down. God will always maintain his standard to now continually give victory to those who deserve victory. God will continue to, to give strength to those who deserve strength. God will continually to stand in the gap for those who need him to stand in the gap for them. Especially people who have made up their mind that they want to be a blessing to humanity. There are people who have made up their mind to be a blessing to humanity. Some of them are freedom fighters. 
Some of them are people who are standing for justice. Some of them are people who are in the prophetic. Some of them are people who have not lifted up their heart unto corruption. Some of them are people who are now in one position of the government or the other, who are now doing their best and they are even hidden in where they are. But God knows you all and God has a plan and God has a purpose for you. And wherever you are, don't think that where you are, you are hidden because in the eye of the Lord, you are not hidden. You are there preparing yourself for a time because it shall come to pass. And I see what's called a broom sweep off. And God is going to sweep off whoever and whatever and whoever and crop of people who have put the people into mess and put the people into crime because God will ever remain God and God will always accomplish his own part. We need to pray because there's power in prayer, especially when you don't know who you're praying for. Many people think, oh, why should I pray? Who am I praying for? I don't know who I'm praying for. If I don't know who I'm praying for, I cannot pray. It is good to do more of intercession intercessory prayer is a type of prayer that we pray even when we don't know who we're praying for this is one of the reasons last two weeks last week ago last week wednesday i was live here and god said pray for a politician this is what's called a political assassination and the lord showed it to me and god said pray for this and god said pray and pray and intercede for this i know that whenever i call for prayer People who are spiritual, who knows what's called prayer, they know how to intercede and pray the prayer. When you are praying the prayer, you may not know who you are praying for. You may not know the innocent man that God has moved your spirit to go and pray for. Because sometimes we think, oh, uh, if I don't know the person, what it concern me? What it concern me? What's my concern? I want to let you know that that prophecy of last week Wednesday that I was live here prophesying myself don't know the person but in the spirit God has shown and God said this person must be prayed for a leader that is leading the people because this was called political assassination and we entered into prayer that was last week Wednesday but how did we know that this thing has already taken place in the spiritual it is because God has revealed it and God has given the major prophet of God the clue of prayer that needed to be prayed and we enter into the clue of prayer and begin to pray in that direction God whatever kind of political assassination of the innocent people God should step in I don't care to know what it is and I told you in that prophecy I said it is not the will of God that any should perish but all should come to repentance because sometimes if you look at the people and bend down looking the under you must see something that is rubbish that will make you to complain so we pray the prayer and look at the result of the prayer the man was shot five times Slovakia Slovakia the, the Prime Minister of Slovakia was shot five times but by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, by the intercessory prayer, by the hand of the Lord who has revealed, and the Bible says, revelation signifies victory. Whenever I talk about revelation like this, people think, oh, this man is this, is that. You don't know what is called spiritual matter. It's just that in, we're in the world and the time of mercy. The mercy of God is compassing about. If it were to be those days of Elijah, when a man is talking, a prophet of God is talking and a man says anything anywhere, the spirit comes immediately for you. But we are in the era of mercy. We are in the era of grace. We are in the era of the love of God. We are, the love of God is shed abroad in our heart. And no matter what you say, no matter what you talk, no matter what you do, the Lord has already taken his love to compass all of that about. And that's why the Bible says, love covereth multitude of sins. 